So you wanna be a public speaker. Do you have the money and time to create videos? Do you have the money and time to hire a videographer to create these videos for your YouTube channel, to create a speaker reel? Do you have the time and the money to create good looking presentation materials so your content pops on the screen? Do you have the time and the resources to invest in engaging on social media, whether it's with conference organizers or conference attendees? Are you willing to make a commitment of time and money to stand out above and beyond of all of your colleagues and peers. I'm going to share with you my secret to what makes me stand out as a public speaker. Are you ready? Well, the tough economy has a lot of folks out there looking for work, and if you are one of them, you might want to try out tonight's Pink Slit Party, one of the newest ways to meet employers face-to-face -face in a real casual setting. Our Denise Douglas is live on the Action Cam to tell us more about this. And Denise, this has been a success. They had one here a while back, and tonight is number two for the Pink Slit Party. That Carlos Gill here with me. He runs an online job board and also organizing this event here. Now, Tell me exactly how this works. I mean, do people just come out and mix and mingle, or how does this work? Pretty much the best way to describe this tonight, it's speed dating for job seekers and recruiters. It's an open networking event. Those have been I've built lips. a brand for myself, and that brand was not built overnight. It's taken me over 10 years to build the brand of Carlos Gill that you see. I recognize that what you see in person and on the internet is a persona that I've created a persona that can teach. I'm an author, in addition to being a speaker, but I'm also a professional. So when you see me online and then you see me in person, you're gonna find someone who's energetic, enthusiastic, charismatic, but someone that also has a passion for teaching because I've studied my craft of social media. What makes you stand out? What makes you different from everyone else? What are you able to teach that I don't know? What's going to make me want to sit in an audience and listen to you for 30, 45, 60 minutes? And what do you have about you that's going to make me want to follow up after the conference to want to do business with you? You see, public speaking is a gateway. Whether you speak for free or you get paid to speak, it's a gateway for other opportunities that feed into your business or your businesses. In my case, I have a marketing agency, and public speaking is my way of doing business development. The great thing about it is that when I get paid to speak, that's paid business development. Think about this for a moment. I could get paid 10, 15, 20,000 to go speak for an hour, but when I'm speaking in that hour, I'm teaching you things that you need to apply in your business. And what I'm also really doing is psychologically, I'm convincing you that you need to work with me because all these things that I'm teaching you, you're not going to be able to do it on your own, with the existing resources that you have at your company or lack thereof. So that is how public speaking helps me grow my business, not just as a speaker for immediate cash, but also long-term growing my business. If I meet you in person and you ask me, Carly, what do I need to do to become a public speaker and do all the things that you do? I'm going to turn it back on you and ask you, why do you want to get into public speaking? And assuming that you're already in public speaking, I'm going to ask you, what is it that you're doing to refine your craft and sharpen your knife as you level up in this game? There are so many other speakers out there. There are people that speak for free. There are people that are more insta-famous than you. There are people that are more connected than you. So what are you doing to rise above that noise that's being created within the speaking industry? Are you an attraction? Are you a showman? Are you someone that people are paying good money to see because you're bringing insights, you're entertaining the audience? Are you a high-rated speaker? Or are you someone that people see your content, but they really don't know what to do with it? These are all things that you need to assess and address immediately. You need to look at public speaking like a business. Whether you're getting paid or you're not getting paid, the opportunity to step on stage is an opportunity. How does that opportunity feed into your business? Whether you run a marketing agency or you sell apparel or you have any service whatsoever, being on stage should feed into that business. But the key to keep in mind is 
refining your craft. Because in order for you to get booked amongst the men and women that are also refining their craft, there needs to be something that sets you apart. So my company, the Jobs Director USA, I started this up back in 2008 after I lost my own job. I was let go from a small little company called AIG. So I was, I was, out, I was laid off back in November of 2008 as a result of the freezing credit lending and the collapse of Wall Street, the collapse of AIG. Good afternoon. How's everyone doing? Very good. Excellent. By a show of hands, before we get started, how many of you here in the room actually work in sales here at IBM? Everyone, great. This cohort that's gonna walk away from this talk is gonna be the first ones to actually read and review the end of marketing. Now let's talk about why I wrote this book. First of all, I've worked in social media marketing at a corporate level for the last 10 years, for the last 10 years, for the last 10 years, 10 years. 